Hey, it's Sarah, and today I wanted to talk to you about what books I own for learning Korean. So, I started learning Korean about two years ago now, but I only got serious about it recently. So while I am still a beginner, I have accrued a fair number of books for learning Korean. Um, some of them I'm planning to use now, some of them I am using now, some of them I want to be using, some of them I am planning to use in the future for specific purposes. Today I thought I would share with you what books I have, why I have them, and if I would recommend other people buying them. So, <laughs> the first book I got was actually a gift from my family. They gave it to me for, I think, Christmas one year when I told them I wanted to start learning Korean to move to Korea. And that one is Korean from Zero. This book is a Korean textbook for absolute beginners. It teaches you completely from the beginning. I find this one has a very conversational tone and it doesn't feel so much like a school textbook. So if you want one that feels kind of like you're learning Korean from a friend, maybe get this one. The next books I actually bought after I moved to Korea, I wanted to start taking KIIP classes. So I got the level zero and level one textbooks. So these ones look a little bit something like this. These ones are completely in Korean. So as a beginner, I actually would not recommend these unless you actually need it for the KIIP classes. I think that you wouldn't get that much out of this as a beginner. The next book I actually got as a gift from some friends in Korea for my birthday. And that is the Topic 1 OK Topic Guidebook. I want to take the Topic Test in November. So when it gets a little bit closer to the Topic Test, I will start learning from this book. This one has information in Korean and English. And it's supposed to help a lot with understanding the test questions and actually preparing for the test itself. I think that the actual teaching of Korean like vocabulary and grammar is a little bit light in this one. It does have a little travel booklet that teaches some grammar and some vocabulary, but I would not buy this one to actually learn Korean. I would buy it if you are planning to take the topic test. Now we can get to some books that I bought myself. These are the books that I'm currently studying, which is the Integrated Korean series. I'm hoping to finish this one actually this week and then start this one right away. These ones come with workbooks as well, specific to the book, and audio that you can find for free on the publisher's website. I actually really like these books for learning Korean. I think that they're very professional. They are for an actual university classroom. When they teach, they are teaching with the idea that you are a student. If you're planning to take university Korean classes, if you're planning to study abroad in Korea, or if you're planning to study at a language school in Korea, these ones would be great books. Now the next book that I have is actually for reading practice, and that is Korean Stories for Language Learners. As you can see, this book has a story written in Korean and the English translation. And they also have a word bank of words that they think you might not know, and then some exercises that you can do if you'd like to interact with the material. And as far as I know, this one was created by a university professor who found that her students didn't have level appropriate reading material. It's a collection of traditional Korean folktales that have been edited to make the language a little bit easier for beginners to learn. And it also comes with an audio CD so that you can listen to how the words are actually pronounced. This book is designed for beginners. I've gone through a couple of the stories so far. It's really fun. Actually, I really like it because I get to learn more about traditional Korean myths and legends and a little bit more about Korean culture. And I get to practice some interesting words. So if you want a fun reading material book, that is made for beginners. I actually, I really recommend this one. It's really great. The last book I have for learning Korean is 2000 Essential Korean Words for Beginners. This book also comes with an audio CD, although I haven't actually listened to it yet. So it will have the vocabulary word as well as the translation in English, Chinese, and Japanese, and then an example sentence for how to use that word. I have studied some from this book 
honestly vocabulary is not my favorite thing to study because I find it kind of tedious just learning one word at a time but if you are looking to beef up your vocabulary which I definitely need to do this book is a great resource for that and finally, the last book that I have is not technically a Korean language book, it's kind of a bonus, the Korean Culture Dictionary. This was actually given to me at a work conference. <laughs> um, they had us read like one page during the conference and then they let us take the book home. And I've read a few things from this one. It's extremely fun. Uh, if you are looking for a book that is just interesting tidbits about Korean culture, I would definitely recommend getting this one. It has a little bit about Korean history, it has Korean folktales, it has Korean superstitions, it has things about drinking culture and weddings and so many different things in this book. Kind of answering the most common questions that foreigners ask about Korean culture. And that is the many books I have for learning Korean. I am sure that I'm gonna buy more so maybe I'll do this video again in a few months. But for now, I'll let you go. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. If you are interested in following my journey learning Korean, you can subscribe to this channel, Strawberry Kimchi Korean. And if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. Bye!